Hey everyone, <clears throat> this is Stormy with AndroidSpin.com bringing you uh, another look at the new SOM Bionics ROM that just came out uh, very recently. It is uh, Bionics 1.9.1. There's another version, uh, 1.9.0. They're both identical in almost every fashion. The, the main difference between the two is the 1.9.0 is uh, built for speed and stability as well. <clears throat> and the dot .1 version actually just has the four different lock screens and a few minor tweaks here and there. Uh, but mostly if you're not interested in the lock screen variants, uh, the dot .0 oh version uh, will be your best. This one I am showing you right now is 1.9.1 .1, uh, stock kernel. None of the overclock undervolted kernels that are available as well. Got multiple downloads uh, for you to choose from. <clears throat> stock wallpaper, of course, being Halloween, we got the Nightmare Before Christmas going. Uh, that actually came with the ROM. I didn't install that, so that's what you'll see. <clears throat> of course, uh, all the same stuff that he's had in all of them so far. Uh, all share camera works great uh, GPS is functioning very well um, media hub is working we've got the new 2.2 market uh, so you uh, will be able to go into apps and <clears throat> be able to pull up the different apps that are available and also see just what the app is and then what the comments are not in my garage so my connection is kind of slow for pulling up the market um, just the usual, it's got the TouchWiz interface, it's got the seven different home screens. Uh, of course, those are all editable, and you can change those in and out just like every other TouchWiz version of the ROM that are out there. I haven't had any problems, I'm just running the stock kernel, so I don't have any of the extra, like the voodoo lag fix or anything like that on here. So I run into a little bit of lag here and there coming from like the browser back into the home sometimes it'll have a hiccup uh, changing screens right afterwards um, but for the most part I haven't run into any problems uh, we're still looking at the <clears throat> black keyboard with the white letters of course we still got the black on black drop down with the white for your buttons at the top um, it's just running the, the standard switch sideways touch whiz interface for your apps. Uh, I didn't install any different versions of anything on here so you could see it. Um, the files, everything works really well. Uh, home's quick. Everything comes up very nicely. It's got Gtalk of course in. Uh, it's got the new version of Google Voice added in as well. Uh, so of course we've got, oops that was the talk again. There's Voice, which I haven't run yet so it'll tell me to set everything up as far as widgets are concerned still got the sammy widgets your buddies now daily brief days dual clock feeds and updates and uh, the program monitor which uh, as i said in the last video very fond of it makes pulling up what's running really easy and as you can see i've been living on angry birds for quite a while game is addicting uh under the regular widgets of course a few downloads that I've done beautiful widgets is in here but it's got the Google voice widgets uh, your latitude the new market widget from the 2.2 market news weather picture frames your Google search and YouTube so far I haven't had any problems with it loving the ROM it's it's very quick battery life's been good I'm at 47 percent right now and that would be approximately 12 to 14 hours or so with a lot of angry bird playing uh, so expect a pretty good life uh, on your battery with this particular ROM. Uh, I did crank the screen brightness up so you can see it a little easier maybe. Uh, but of course the top little shortcut for doing your screens works on this ROM. And if we go into settings and sound and display, and you'll actually be able to scroll down to lock screens right there, unlock screen. And the four different versions that are there is, of course, the puzzle lock, the glass lock, the Android unlock, and the Epic unlock. Uh, we all know what the glass lock looks like. The Android unlock is the original 2.1 unlock screen from the original AOSP. And then under the puzzle lock, uh, it looks just like it does when you have a missed call. Right here, you just drag the puzzle piece over to unlock it. I kind of like the Epic Unlocks, that's the one I'm using currently. Uh, TV Out function works. Um, 
everything's working. Uh, the picture messaging used to be an issue that's been solved, uh, so all your picture messages can be sent and received. Uh, Bluetooth's working, Wi-Fi's working, everything's working really well. So if you're looking for a really good stable ROM that's, that's quick, uh, with a little added theming, uh, definitely go ahead and pick this one up. Uh, you'll be able to pull that off of our uh, off the database, uh, which we have the review for posting. And uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day and enjoy your phones.